their third studio album titled The World According to Gub. I was wondering if you can actually just tell us the story behind this monumental album. And of course, what ultimately inspired you guys to name the album after a novel uh, by John Irving? We were pretty, uh, we were a very busy band by that time. And we had found, like we found our lineup that was really working. But Gabe became our drummer and Craig was our bass player. We were on the road all the time. We had signed with network management. We had kind of, our friend from Landspeed worked at network and he brought us over to network management. We, they didn't have any punk rock bands at the time. They were very mainstream. Um, so I think it was always sort of like, they saw that we were playing decent sized shows and we were selling some records. So they, you know, they kind of jumped on board um, and they started to try to break us into the mainstream with the what to do video on how far shall it takes you um, and trying to, you know, get us played on radio and, and video and submitted us to all of that stuff. Uh, by the time we were doing world according to, we were, we were on such a roll that I, I remember being in the in the studio and we would deliver a song every day and network was, their minds were blown. Like every single song, they were more stoked than the, the previous. And then we went in and did I Hear You Calling one day, and they were just like, okay, this is it. Let's do this record. And things were in motion. We're like, well, we got more songs. They're like, well, let's do the record. But, you know, you've got tour dates coming up, and things are moving so fast that we didn't have a title. Like, we, we had no idea what we wanted to call that record. And we were kind of, you know, we were coming up with new musical sounds and stuff, and the band was... The sound was changing, and we had at that time we had actually leaked to exclaim or someone that we were as a joke that we were going to call our our album "Love and Relationship," and it got such backlash. Like there were so many people in Vancouver that were so bummed about it, and to me it was like a funny thing for a punk rock band to have an album called "Love and Relationships." When I mean it kind of was, but I don't know. I guess that's cheese, but I don't know. We you know we weren't thinking about it that much. I'm not sure who came up with the world according to God. Like it might have, it was either me or Fia, but we loved, maybe we had watched the movie, the world according to Garp in the studio or something. And we were like, that's, it's going to be the world according to God. And so that's where the title came from. We hadn't read the book. We'd seen the film. <laughs> 